In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build Assistant AI for any business using OpenAI, New Assistant AI, and Python. As you can see right now on the screen, I took Papa John's menu and I built Assistant AI for Papa John's. So stay tuned, we're about to start. Feel free to follow for more amazing tutorials. Welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching. I can't stop watching those amazing pizza of Papa John's but let's start our tutorial. So today I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial how you can build your own assistant for any business or for yourself using OpenAI Assistant API, the new feature they released recently. And in this tutorial I'm gonna show you step-by-step, -step, especially for beginner, how you can create and train your own assistant uh, AI and eventually connect it to any app you want. I'm gonna use Python with Streamlit, but you can really use any backend app that you want in order to create the Assistant API. So look at this documentation. This is how the Assistant work. Basically, you have an option to create Assistant using thread and message and eventually invoke a run function. When I went over the documentation of the Assistant API, it was a little bit tricky, so I thought to myself, if it's hard for me, it's probably hard for other developers out there. So I decided to create this amazing tutorial, and I'm gonna show you step by step how you can integrate and interact with the OpenAI Assistant API. In order to start this tutorial, all you need is OpenAI account, and that's it basically. And once you are logged into your OpenAI account, just go to Assistant. And if you don't have any Assistant yet, you can go and choose Create. Once you're pressing the Create button, this is how you create your Assistant. You're choosing the name. I'm going to create Papa John's Pizza. And this will be the name. And for the instruction, this is where you can tell your Assistant AI how basically you need to work, what is the instruction, what you need to do. I'm going to use a very general instruction just for this tutorial. I'm going to go to the, back to the documentation. And as you can see, you have few options of assistant. You have code interrupter. You have a, a base uh, knowledge or knowledge uh, retriever. This is what we're going to use today. We're going to use a knowledge retrieval. And you also have function calling, something that is more custom made. So here I'm choosing the instruction of the knowledge uh, retriever, but you can again edit it as the way that you want. I'm gonna tell him that you are a customer support chatbot and use your uh, best knowledge to make the response for the uh, customer uh, desires or need. And eventually I'm also gonna add is, uh, the name of the uh, assistant so it will be more personal. That's it, this is my instruction for this assistant AI. Next, I'm going to uh, review the model, but I'm not going to choose the model yet because I want to explain you something. So here you can choose the function. As I said, function is something that is custom made that you can ask for the bot to run specific custom function. And next, you have the code interpreter that you can ask the bot to run or write code for you. And you also have uh, the retrieval. This is what we're going to use today. Basically, retrieval is the option for you to upload any file that you have, any documentation. I'm going to activate it and eventually let the bot AI use this file as a knowledge base. So I downloaded a menu of Papa John that I found before I uh, record a, a tutorial. And as you can see, it's something that handcrafted. It's not super clear. It's like PDF or four page of all a uh, Papa John's uh, pizza, the type, uh, how much it cost, um, and also other thing that uh, Papa John's offer. But as you can see, it's only one file. It's not like all the option and it's not the newest uh, menu, but it still work amazing even with this uh, a PDF. And soon you're gonna see how amazing it's work. So this is the menu you saw, and I'm going to upload this file. Remember that you can choose many files. So if you have a business that have many, many files like Q&A, uh, customer support, history, and so many other, you can upload many files. And once you want the Assistant AI to work with file, you have to choose the latest model. This is GPT-4 a preview. Okay, otherwise it's not going to work for you. And once we did it, that's it. Just press the create. And basically, as you can see in the background, we created our assistant AI. This is the name, description, ID, 
And now we're gonna run a quick uh, playground test. I wanna see that it's actually working. And after this, we're gonna see how to interact with it with Python. So let's do a quick uh, playground. Let's see that uh, the assistant that we just created created actually interact with the PDF file that I upload and he know what to do. So I'm gonna ask him what kind of pizza I can order under $8. Okay, it will take like a one or two seconds and pretty much you're gonna have answer very, very fast. Okay, there we go, guys. We have an answer, and it said that under eight dollar you can order any of the following uh, eight-inch pizza from the Papa John's. We have pepperoni, we have unnamed one, and we have uh, several other option price at seven twenty-five. So it's working. It's actually we're able to interact with the PDF, and it's amazing. It's only one PDF, not super clear, but it's still work and able to work. So we basically um, created our assistant uh, AI, our Papa John's Pizza uh, assistant. And now we're gonna go to the next step. We're gonna create a Python app that interacts with our uh, OpenAI assistant. By the way, this is how you grab the assistant ID that you created in order to interact later with the Python app. And also what you need next is API keys. If you don't have uh, OpenAI API keys, it's not gonna work. So this is where you can grab one. You go in here and you just create a new uh, secret key. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my Visual Studio. I have here the streamlit. I, I will declare the streamlit um, variable, the secret. You can use whatever uh, option for a Python environment variable to choose. So here you need to copy the OpenAI API key and also the assistant ID that we just created. Okay, and before that, we need to go and install two packages okay the first package is a pip3 install streamlit okay this is will help us to run the streamlit application locally okay perfect it install it very fast because i already have it on my local and then i don't know if you already have open ai a package or not but if you do have just add the flag of upgrade because you need the latest version of OpenAI so it will work with assistant uh, API. Once you're doing those two, basically you are good to go. Okay, we are good to go. And now let's start encoding. It's only one page, it's very, very uh, fast and simple. So the first thing we're gonna import Streamlit and if you don't know what is Streamlit, I really recommend you to go to my YouTube channel. I created a special uh, Streamlit app and how to deploy it also to the Streamlit cloud. A full tutorial, 25 minutes or 20 minutes that you can learn how to actually build a Streamlit app in Python. So if you don't know, have any idea about what is a Python Streamlit, watch this tutorial and it will be very easy for you to understand. So after we import the Streamlit and the OpenAI uh, a plugin or package next we're gonna declare our api and our assistant id okay and it will take it from the secret in the secret toml file that we i just showed you and by the way guys all the code found in my github so i'm gonna share the link in the description of the youtube uh, video next we're gonna declare the client we're gonna declare my assistant and we're gonna declare thread and we're gonna put it with the streamlit cache option because we want to invoke it only once so this is how we're doing that we're gonna declare a function load open api client and assistant here we're gonna load the client of open ai my assistant a object and thread object and we're gonna return it back to uh, the app itself this is a uh, first step next we're gonna define a wait on run basically the way that the assistant work with the thread and the message it's it's working asynchronically. So when you're firing an event, where you're firing a message, you need to check in a, that the message is actually in progress or a, a, sorry that it's completed. Otherwise you need to keep running the loop 
until the message is ready and then pull it back. So this this function and what we did. Next, we're gonna define the get assistant respond where we're gonna enter the user input. This is the, basically the chat that we're gonna interact with the user. And if you don't know what is message, what is assistant, what is a thread, what is run, you can go over to the OpenAI uh, Assistant API documentation and here you have all the uh, meaning of what is assistant, what is thread. So basically assistant is our uh, AI agent, the thread is the combination of, it's including the message, the run it's a function that invoke the message inside the thread, and the run step is the what I show you in the while loop that is checking it if, if it's completed, if the message completed or not. So this is exactly what we're declaring here. And this is, you just need to copy and paste. You don't need to break your head. I, I did it uh, for you guys. So we declare the message, we declare the run invocation function, and then we run it. And once it's uh, the run is ready, we pulling the message list. Okay, this is how the system works. You have a message list. We pulling the, the first one, or sorry, the by order uh, ASC with the message ID. And we're returning the message value, very simple. This is this function. And basically we're done with the system code. Now we're gonna create our app code, our streamlit code. This is where we check if the user input is defined or not. And this is the function when we submit in, when we enter uh, to the chat a text, this is the submit function that invoke. And this is the ST uh, title, Papa John's Pizza Assistant, as you saw at the beginning. And then we putting a text input uh, with key query and on change submit. This is the function that you saw. We grabbing the user input and we write its input uh, back. And then we check in if the user input a value inside. We invoking the get assistance response with the user input. And eventually we write it back to the screen. Very simple, one page app and you have a business assistant AI for your biz or for yourself. So now we're gonna run it, we stream it run app uh, Python, and in a few seconds, bam, we have our app in Python that interact with the uh, OpenAI assistant, Papa Jones Pizza. And now I'm gonna say hello, and as you can see, returning back, hello, how can I assist you with your Papa Jones experience today? Next, I'm gonna Ask him, we are planning a party of 10 people. What can you offer us from the menu under $150 for all of us? Include also thing uh, other than a pizza that you can find in the menu. So I'm giving like more complicated uh, uh, requests. And let's see how our Papa Jones uh, pizza assistant basically uh, help us to get our order. So we got a response and it's declaring all of our uh, order define us uh, what we uh, can order under the budget of $150, how many pizza, what are their costs, how many side dish we can uh, order, uh, dessert, uh, beverage, beverage if we need, all of that is give us everything we need, we understand everything, the assistant AI and basically return back with an uh, amazing uh, offer everything wrapped up for a party and he also uh, eventually understand that not only it's under $150 but he can also understand that we need maybe to uh, uh, left money for a tip or for sh uh, shipping. Okay next I'm gonna ask him great can you summarize me the order I want it to be like more clear what actually I'm ordering so you can have a summarize of your order that he just created you have three pizza, a 16 a, a inch, a wing, a bread tick, dessert, drink, everything summarized beautiful for you. And let's say um, which kind of pizza is actually uh, recommend me. Yeah, it's right in three pizza, but I, I wanna know what kind of pizza I wanna, I want it to be more specific. So the assistant AI is very smart, you know, to answer all of, it, all of your question. And it's gonna help you to choose the pizza that you think you're gonna like. This is how amazing this uh, assistant, this feature, and it's why I felt the need to create this uh, tutorial. So as you can see, I apologize for the confusion earlier, based on the menu, here are the pizzas.
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe and leave comment below and keep following because I'm gonna release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS, about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.